peace and kept it now now the vibrate of course not too far in the future not too far in the past right now i want to uh kind of reiterate or uh kind of get into some info or should i say uh some information that Dr. Phil Valentine brought up. Matter of fact, uh, blessings and uh, much blessings and love to Brother Phil Valentine. Matter of fact, if y'all don't know who that is right now, y'all need to definitely go look up Dr. Phil Valentine. Not Dr. Phil. <laughs> Phil Valentine. Like, uh, like it's spelled V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-E. P H I L doctor in front of that doctor field that time, but he was bringing up a, a vibe of uh, you know the connection with the goat, you know, and Baphomet, you know, in a in dealing with the sheep and the shepherd, like, but how in a like in in the biblical stories and stuff, everything was trying to you know make you a sheep, like you know, like God is my shepherd and I'm the sheep, you know. And he talked about, you know, uh, cause when you think about a sheep, like sheep walking together in a little group, it's like one sheep looking at another sheep's ass, you know, <laughs> like, and just following orders, just following the other sheep, nose of the other sheep ass and not really knowing what's going on, you know, compared to a goat, you know, that, that climbs the mountain and, you know, and, 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 and knows to have discernment to, to, to like, you know, like, Stand his ground and head butt you or you know, whatever, whatever, if you try to come up on it too close, you know what I'm saying? Like and that's that analogy of how, you know, the 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 power the 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 people who's trying to oppress, you know, the rest of the planet, you know, they take that that goat perspective. Now again, before I even get into this Baphomet and the goat, this is not no representation of uh, you know, something that's quote unquote evil now they take it you know they take that concept and, and and use it in a manner that that's uh hindering to people's spiritual growth you know what i'm saying but you know uh baphomet the goat like you know that dark energy set like that's all internally you know in us you know what i'm saying and and uh it's not like no again like the devil this and that because again the goat the capricorn energy you know and the goats, you know, again, climbing that mountain, you know, like the Capricorn and being in the physical, you know, physical realm, you know. And, and again, maybe that's too the importance of, you know, uh, a Capricorn energy, like bringing forth a certain type of change in, in, in these times, you know, because of how physical, you know, uh, being in that physical realm, that Saturn energy, you know. But just that analogy again, like how you know uh, the sheeple. Matter of fact, think about that terminology, the, the sheeple. You know, but uh, let's see, the goat Baphomet finding its own way climbing up the mountain while sheep following the shepherd and other sheep viewing the ass of the sheep in front of them. You know, and nothing more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like you just being heard and you just looking at the ass of the other sheep saying bye. You know, like and not really. But while the goat like on his own climbing up the mountain you could see matter of fact from the mountain you got a nice little view from the mountain too you get to see like oh shit that's what's going on you know because again with any aspect of anything you know there's a positive and negative aspect to to all things you know so you know anything being too on the extreme you know so being because that's what the satanist is in essence is like you know uh just more so, I say extremely, but like that, the, the physical realm worship in essence, you know what I'm saying? Like strongly, you know, getting into it, but they still tap into the spiritual world, don't get it twisted. <laughs> but uh, they they promote that over physical vibe, you know? Cause even, I mean, the, the upside down star, again, nothing, uh, quote unquote bad about it is just representing bringing the the energy down into the body, you know. With this with the star pointing down. And and matter of fact I also thought about too, in warfare, you know, uh matter of fact coming from uh what's his name? Sun Tzu Sun Tzu. 
the Art of War book where, you know, being on the high ground is an advantage, you know. Because, say, for instance, when you're on high ground, even if surrounded, you know, if you push one person down the hill, that could potentially take out a, uh, the whole army or battalion, you know, because that one person going to run into somebody else down that hill, you know what I'm saying? So you kind of have that, that advantage, you know, and you see why, you know, also uh, on the social hierarchy level, why they place themselves at the top of the pyramid, you know what I'm saying? Same, you know, same little connection. You know, being on that high ground, you're able to have that little advantage in warfare and spiritual warfare, you know, they try to have themselves in that quote unquote higher ground, you know. But yeah, because when you push one person down and a bunch of them could fall right behind that. But that's why, you know, everything was trying to make you, uh, 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 you know, a sheep, you know, be guided like a sheep. Because they didn't want you using your own, uh, you know, your own intuition and logic. You know, they want you to, to go along with what the shepherds say. The shepherds say, go this way. The sheep ain't asking, well, hey, shepherd, why we got to go right instead of left? Hey, shepherd, why we got like, nah, just go along with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and matter of fact, with the bread, uh, with that analogy to you know the sheep looking at the ass of other sheep and I also thought about the analogy to again with people that being in denial vibe or that I don't see color I'm, you know uh, I just stay positive all the time I never focus on the, the negative this and that you know that's the analogy of being an ostrich sticking his head in the ground but like also though shout out to Mark Passio with this <laughs> the usage of this uh, he was like, uh, you know, when, to put your head in the ground, you know, you have to first kneel down. It's almost like, by, you know, like kneeling. So, you know, lowering yourself, kneel down. Then you gotta, you know, to put your, you know, putting your head in the hole would also leave your ass in the air. So, you know, by, by you know, these people who are, you know, I don't, I don't want to focus on the negative or, you know, because even myself, when I was close to that vibe, what I was doing, I was putting my ass in the air, my knees on the ground. <laughs> good thing nobody can. <laughs> you know, good, good thing uh, I wasn't in that position for too long. Like, I like, oh boy, what I'm doing like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that that position you know allows for somebody you know to 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 like they say shove it to you with with no grease like they say you know in the analogies you know not knocking nobody's sexual orientation to speaking <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh the situation that it is you know again to to ignore something to be that ostrich with the head in the sand you got to be on your knees with your ass in the air you know <laughs> and like the brothers say, it's no coincidence that the universe is so beautiful to to the point of where not only in the analogy, you know, of like when you have your head in the ground, you know, you're not paying attention and you're liable to be harmed. But also when you actually do it physically, it puts you in one of the most vulnerable positions, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, you know, how you can defend yourself, you know, your head in the ground, your, you know, ass in the air, knees on the uh, ground, you know. But, you know, again, that's the position that they, they're trying to put everybody in. You know, especially, again, with the New Age movement, for sure. You know, it's like this overly peaceful, overly nice, you know, uh, you know this, this vibe <laughs> of uh, trying to, you know, ignoring what is, you know. Think about the analogy I made recently about, again, like you got a broke leg, you know. You're not gonna fix that broke leg with, with positive focus. Like, oh, uh, you know, if I just focus positively on my leg, it's gonna clear up. You know, like, nah, you know, you gotta actually, <laughs> you gotta acknowledge that your leg hurt. And then, you know, again, matter of fact, to, to, to go uh, pick it back off of this, you know, uh, matter of fact, again, uh, Mark Passio bringing up like three main factors. Uh, he spoke of that you know that they uh how can i say that the new age vibe kind of not just the new age but just in general but he's talking about uh the denial hassle and ridicule but like denial 
it's like uh say for if you got a broken leg it's like uh let's see you you won't be able to make the proper diagnosis when you are in denial you know and diagnosis stands for you know dear through uh and gnosis knowledge through knowledge you know diagnosis so if you going through something you know ignoring it you're not doing a proper diagnosis you know by putting your 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 head in the sand you know you know you're not doing a pri proper diagnosis you know and by not uh you know doing a proper diagnosis you can't fix you know something if you don't have a proper diagnosis like you know if you don't know what really is the problem you not or more so if you're not acknowledging the problem or you're in denial of the problem then it's only going to get worse again like shadow work you know what i'm saying like people not paying attention to certain like trying to run away from certain trauma in their trial childhood and stuff like this and not facing that energy you know what i'm saying gonna allow for that shadow to grow bigger and bigger why the more you try to ignore it and be like oh well, you know if i don't focus on it i'll just you know uh maybe if i don't pay attention to it you know the good stuff will just you know get bigger and bigger and it's like nah you know by ignoring it that's growing as well you know matter of fact almost like that like as much as you think the positive energy would grow like nah like again like that broke leg you know or if i just be positive i just for like nah the broke leg getting worse you know what i'm saying so at some point you gotta acknowledge that pain you know, you got to acknowledge that broken leg, you know, in order to fix it, in order for the proper diagnosis, you got to pay attention. So, matter of fact, with this, this is another important thing with that Satanist vibe and, you know, again, that new age movement, you know, uh, anybody teaching you to pr practice denial of what is, you know what I'm saying? Again, like that. Why I would be, and, and that's why I, I look back to the moments when I would be stuttering whenever I would try to go too deep off that edge of being like, you know, focus on what's positive, you know, like that's why that little voice would always kind of just make me go back underneath and say, you know, well, of course you, you know, you're going to deal like, you know, uh, with negativity, you know, not running away from everything, you know, but what was really pushing me to say that focus on the positive heavy was kind of that little new age movement you know information you know that was determined from the the real truth you know remember all this information involves some degree of truth you know matter of fact and that, uh, so another little analogy too like people that be in denial or like well you know because again we th this is a you know this is key you know we don't want to get caught up in divide and conquer vibes you know like Cause they are trying to divide us through you know ethnicity quote unquote you know uh sex you know uh like you know masculine feminine or uh you know age or belief system you know what i'm saying like they're trying to divide and conquer you know because if a bunch of people bickering with it with each other that makes our job easier when we come through to fuck them up you know because they was already fighting each other shit matter of fact somebody was even laying on the ground before we got there you know what i'm saying they they was fussing with each other so much they barely took care of themselves before we even had to lay a hand on them you know this is how the government is operating towards you know what i'm saying so we got to peep game you know what i'm saying like and, and another thing the pride because people may notice these things but they pride won't allow for them because they're so locked into the old mind frame this that they were holding on to like they probably won't let them admit that they've been wrong all that fucking time especially if you've been you know quote unquote wrong for uh you know a bunch of years you know that pride then been a strong foundation of i ain't coming off of this you know what i'm saying that's where we meet our demise is like you know you can't just step away from the pride and realize like all right i've been duped or you know this is what the situation is you know what i'm saying and you won't be able to fix it you know but uh again i thought about like with uh you know the i don't see color you know i don't see color and this and that because again uh they are trying to create a divide and conquer vibe but that's not for us to sit here and act to use the again they want you on extremes you know either extremely dividing each other this and that or uh extremely nice to where you just don't even get it you know what i'm saying like Oh, I'm just, I don't see color. I don't want to see color, this and that. You know, I don't want to. So again, and, and here there's contradictions where you might hear somebody like, oh, well, you know, I don't see color, this and that. And they might be uh, considered to be a Reiki work or something. 
Like, wait, hold on. You tell me to tell me you don't see color and you work on people's chakras? Like, so how you know you're working on the, you know, I mean, of course you got certain areas, but how you know what you're dealing with if you can't see the colors? You know, like what, what crystal you're dealing with. You know, when you go to deal with your crystals, you know, the citrine is different from the smoky quartz or the amethyst, you know, that's color that kind of distinguishes that. Does that mean we should go and be like, well, I like amethyst, so I hate all the other colors. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? But again, uh, and that's what they're trying to have you on the extreme, you know. Like, oh, well, I don't see any color. Like, nah, you still got to have discernment, but it's like with, with, with your ability to see color, it's also balancing out where you're also not discriminating or hating somebody just because of a different, you know, quote unquote color or this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the whole thing. But again, you know, if you don't see color, like how are you going to be able to diagnose and deal with my chakras if you can't, if you can't see, like a doctor that can't see. I'm about to operate on you. In fact, wait, I got to cover all the eyes. I'm about to operate on you. You know, that's the whole, the whole situation. Again, denial, you know, doesn't fix anything. And, you know, that's that vibe, you know, that we, you know, got to pull ourselves out of, you know, really seeing what's going on around us, you know, but if I don't see color, I, I can't really know what's going on around. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to acknowledge what's really going on around me if I'm trying to run away from it. You know, I don't want to see negativity. I want to run away from it, you know, and then it constantly grows as you run, run away from it, you know. Like, matter of fact, I, I spoke about like, uh, like with uh, LA situation with the houses people, you know, they don't really truly do what it takes to fix it. So that's why it's, you know, it's just more and more people even flooding into neighborhoods that maybe at one time they didn't even have houses people around. But, you know, in these neighborhoods are probably in the areas of people who probably, you know, always neglected like, oh, we ain't gonna worry about this and that. And now literally the problem, quote unquote, and I say problem, but the situation is at your doorstep. You know, these houses people, you know, you, oh, I don't have to. You know, again, it's a balance. Of course, we're not uh, putting on no Superman cape and just, you know, out there and, and not taking care of ourselves. You know, it's, it's through inspired action. Like, you know, I tell people as we line up with our, uh, you know, soul purpose and the source, you know, just inevitably we're going to be of service to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just automatic. But, you know, you don't want to do it from an egotistical place. Like, I think of, like, the ego of, like, oh, let me give this person something just so I could get something back. Like, through the universe or through somebody else. Like, nah. It should be given through the spirit of, like, bro, you know, I just, like, for you to have this, you know, because I just want you to, you know, but you know what I'm saying? Like, and not no, uh, no situation like that where it's like an ego thing like well I, I'm only doing this so I could get something back you know that's not coming from the spirit again the, the head in the sand I don't know what's going on around us you know again the, the inner work cause that's why I also I spoke to that about like what vibes were I'd be meditating and then something would happen to throw off my meditation. What was happening was uh, high self was trying to prevent me from being too uh, in the feminine energy. Cause you know that feminine energy, you know, it's that, uh, you know, that, that clear mind, you know, like more intuitive, like, you know, so highly intuitive, you know, uh, going with the flow, you know, it, it was, uh, you know, Again, where you see where everything is about balance, you know, meditate, because even meditate like med, like medium, middle, you know, that, that middle, middle space, you know, but uh, meditating, you know, uh, again, to clear the mind, you know, because again, we've been in such a situation where there's been so much mind noise, you know, where it takes that strenuous, you know, uh, meditation starting off, but then we get to a certain point where, again, it's a balance. 
because then we could get to a place of meditating too much and then we're not in this physical realm but that's why i was leaning again and i think the source within because i was i was pushing like the ego was trying to push it that way but then something just always kind of kept me you know in some way form or fashion held down in logic and in my masculinity you know what i'm saying but you know it definitely <laughs> It definitely got poked at a lot of times, you know, but again, spirit with, you know, high self and again, seeing, so looking at my, my situations, you know, it was like, you know, that the importance of connecting with that, that heart chakra, that unconditional love, that Christ consciousness, you know, that, you know, that, 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 that balance in between, you know, the heart in between the higher and the lower, you know, and then the pineal gland in between you know the left you know logic and the right you know it's all about that middle that mid space and and and, and again uh i said in the elder video before but uh like as you the balance is unique to our uh our unique vibrational signature you know what i'm saying like we're not trying to uh forcefully balance ourselves you know like because we all uniquely different because it's a fact that some of us are more highly intuitive than others some people are more logical than others so within balancing the logical and intuitive realms you know we may have it in a more you know like well 60 40 balance in a certain area is what's uniquely perfect for one person you know but that may be it may be different for another person so again it's about balance and integration but it's to your unique blueprint you know what i'm saying like because again as much as we all are one you know and all connected to source we are unique aspects of source just like my body is one but i got nothing but unique aspects of uh you know my body and matter of fact speaking to denial again too like uh being in denial you know uh like say for instance if, if the white blood cells in the body was like you know again and not so just not just the denial part but also like oh we don't want to focus on negativity or we don't want to look at negativity or this and that you know it's like so what if the white blood cells like oh no that that infection in your body or whatever that is that's negative we're not trying to pay attention to that so we gonna focus on sitting here and being positive and while the white blood cells doing that then the body is just being overtaken by infection you know what i'm saying because again you know they got the right mind frame but it's not just that you know it's of course we want to focus on the positive but it's also still about taking action you know so again, you know, there's this one vibe, but yeah, the white blood cells in our body chose to take the position of, you know, being in denial and not wanting to focus on negativity. Like, so even though this disease is starting to take over the body, like, I don't see no disease. Like, I don't, all I see is unicorns and sunshine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> while while the, the disease is constantly taking over the body, the next thing you know, at the last moment, the white blood cells are like, whoa, where did this come from? Or why this? comes from you ignoring and being in denial so now the disease about to take over the body like what you expected you know what i'm saying you wasn't doing your part you know you know you're doing part of your part <laughs> you no know, of course you want to have a positive outlook and be optimistic stuff like that but not in trying to be in denial of you know the negative aspects uh that's going around you know within the realm you know of course we're not placing focus on that negativity but we're not we're definitely not ignoring it because again the root word and ignore uh you know in ignorance is ignore you know and that's what the new age movement is trying to get you know a lot of it is you know indirectly they are subtly you know teach it again you know some some people are very skillful <laughs> but the way they uh manipulate the information so it won't seem blaringly obvious that they're trying to throw you off your spiritual growth but uh you know again just again that's what uh the heart that inner guidance you know that inner guidance while you watching you know my videos it have been some videos where your inner guidance is like ah, i don't too much agree with universe on that part 
you know, fight for it. So, you know, using your, you, you know, your unique inner guidance and discern, you know what I'm saying? And some videos was like, bro, fuck with everything you just said. And, he, it, and whether you fuck with it or not, you know, it's still, no, you know, you get that inner gnosis of knowing, like, all right, what he talking about is real, this and that. But still, even then, you know, to really get the, the gnosis or the knowledge, you know, it's still kind of tapping into different avenues of information. You know, because once you get multiple avenues of information, you can really know what's going on. You know, so that's how you end up, you know, uh, knowing what's going on around you. Again, there's different little, you know, little clues and aspects. But that's basically it on, on, on this one, because I'm going to do another video putting the whole thing t together. But... Because, you know, matter of fact, I wouldn't even want to tap into that, like, like the, the denial uh, information. I'm going to do that fully in another video. But, again, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in what's, again, so I could have been over logical extremely and said, I said I was going to do this video just on Dr. Phil Valentine. That's all I'm going to do the video on. <laughs> My Debo voice. I'm going to do the video just on Dr. Valentine, and that's it. <laughs> It's like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, other information popped up. So it's like, hmm, you know, let me, you know, continue this video. Like, and parallel this other information that I'm feeling the vibe to speak on. You know what I'm saying? It's a balance. Balance and integration, you know. Because, again, when I say the word balance. And, again, you see how all things just... How I realized again with inner intuition and inner guidance, because there's so many things again that I spoke on and just seeing like, well, indirectly, source was just always walking with me, you know. But like, like how I would always bring up, you know, in which a lot of people, you know, uh, our words, you know, it's like spells and they like also is like a lower, it's like one of the lowest vibrations of us expressing ourselves. That's why, too, it could become so confusing. And also with the Babylon of the English language, you know, like Babylon, you know. Babbling on, you know, well, one word could mean 50 different things, you know what I'm saying? So that throws off, you know, certain energies and stuff like that. Or when we're sharing certain information, it could be confusing because it's like, here it is. One person talked about dealing with wrong or right or good and bad in this realm and meant it in this way. But then when I speak on it, like, because they fence a part of like, a, like that Satanist vibe as well as to, you know, to completely not see good or bad, right or wrong, you know, but when I speak on, I don't mean like to completely not see it, you know, it's just uh, from a higher intelligence and perspective at looking at, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but not just like, that's good and that's bad, you know? Again, like, weed is good or weed is bad. Like, nah, that's, that's kind of subjective to, you know, That 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 uh, there is a certain, you know, truth, but you know, again, it, uh, we have our uniqueness. That's basically it. <laughs> Peace. Tap it now. Now the vibrate, of course. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Matter of fact, uh, don't forget, you know, uh, you know, like and subscribe. You know, subscribe if you uh liking the content. Matter of fact, hit the little reminder bell. Matter of fact, also share uh, you know, videos with, with others that you feel may benefit. And uh, all donations is greatly appreciated. And then all donations, matter of fact, the donation link is underneath uh, in the description area of all my videos. You know, and uh, thank y'all for the love and support as always. You know what I'm saying? Greatly appreciated. But that's basically it. So again, peace, peace. <laughs> Happy now. Now the vibrate, of course. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Peace, peace.